Got the ALP. Everyone's talking about it. Finally got it in the mail. Thanks to Robert for sending the three milligrams. Yeah, as soon as I used my nail to open this thing up, you could smell that chilled mint flavor. Let's take a look at these things. Rapid onset cooling effect cool act P. They smell really strong. It's kind of that kind of like different looking greasy pouch. Same as like the free pouch. Not much yellow color. Stranger texture too. Kind of like kind of crunchy. I don't know. It's weird. It's not like a powder. That's for sure. It's kind of like a maybe like a chalk. Or I don't know. I don't know, guys. They're like slippery. They're like sliding all over the place. I, I can feel this cause some discomfort. All right, so I found octanol. I mean, that's got to explain that slippery texture. It is a fatty alcohol allowed in food as an additive. Here it is, the ALP chilled mint in the tube. All right, do about 10 mils of milk water. It's like a trickle of water. That's not doing it. At least it's 18.2 megaohms, but it's not that. It's not. I'm gonna do about 10 minutes. Alright, it's been sitting for about 30 minutes. Pretty cloudy, similar to Zen and cloudiness, I'd say. So, pretty well extracted with water now. Let's go ahead and DCM liquid extract it. Boy, that smells minty. Ooh, real minty. Alright, so 800 microliters. Got the one gloved hand here. Into the tube. Alright, so now we're going to do 400 microliters of dichloromethane. Liquid, liquid, extract it. Standard protocol. We're really good at this by this point. And then, really gotta get this guy close and tight. Alright, so here we go. We got the two of them here. Let's shake, 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 shake it up. And let me look, 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 Boom. On the centrifuge. Alright. Here we go. Hopefully these guys split out real nice. That's a good split. Not much interface. I mean there's some, but it looks pretty typical. Now we're just gonna pull the bottom layer of DCM and then dilute it out in the tube. There they are. Nice clean pull. Good dilution. No floaties. Ready for GCMS analysis. All right, in the GC room, we got the ALP chilled mint on the thermo trace. Let's see what's in this thing. All right, here it is, off the GC, the ALP chilled mint, long-awaited data. I put a bunch on there. I mean, I'm not gonna say overloaded, but boy, uh, five to the nine. I don't know, that's a lot. So anyways, we'll see any minor impurities if they exist. That first big clean peak right down the center, we're gonna check down no minor impurities or bumps. We're seeing this one at 10-4, we'll dig into that next, but that's your nicotine, and let me tell you, that's looking pretty clean. Good job, Tucker. No complaints there. Now, this would be concerning if that was an impurity there at 10-4, but it's not. It's terophthalines, that's a terpene, a flavor. You know, the thing I noticed, these things have a really strong smell and flavor, and that is represented in the data. They're also really chilling, which means lots of synthetic cooling agent. You can see, it's almost like a two to one ratio with WS3 synthetic cooling agent, so you got plenty of synthetic cooling agent in there. You know, I'm not a fan of synthetic cooling agents, but you know, the more you know. All right, so now the rest of these things, all right? This is the most intense flavor, other than the synthetic cooling agent, and this is probably like terpene one on. Oh, that's just straight up regular menthol. You don't see a lot of straight up regular menthol these days, but that's what we got, we got just menthol, regular menthol, and then 
Look at all these flavors in this thing. It's just like a who's who of flavors here. Tons of flavors. Let's go through them one by one for everybody. The first one we got here is a eucalyptol. This one right here, minor, minor amounts of what looks like, I don't know, let's search it. It's saying that it's octanol. I don't know why there's octanol in there. We'll dig into that more. Apparently, octanol is allowed. It is a fatty alcohol allowed in food as an additive, and it gives you that kind of like a fatty mushroom-like taste. I don't know why. Duck meat. I guess you got like a fatty duck meat flavor in there. Um, I, I'm all right. Why not? Why not add that? Lots of flavors. All right. So here we go. Now at eight, was this at six minutes? We got linulol. That guy tastes a lot like a Fruit Loops flavor. And then we got here at six. Seven. This is a big one. This is probably another menthol derivative. That's, oh no, that's isopugol, pugonol, pugolol. I don't like pugolone, but this is the pulagol. Let's see if that's carcinogenic. Uh, paste. Um, but we're definitely seeing some pulagol. Um, oh, isopulagol. It is a called cool, it, cool Act P. It is a sensory agent. Wow, I've never seen this one before. That's really unique. Provides a cooling effect to the skin. This is a really different product, to tell you the truth, but this is definitely looking like a synthetic Cool Act P is in the ALP pouch. Really interesting. I'm glad I ran these. This is definitely unique. All right, so six, eight, we have regular menthone. That's just menthone. At seven, we have another one. The search it in NIST to get a name. Uh, that's another isomer of menthone. So lots of chili mint flavors. This is the menthol that we mentioned before. And then the last big one here at eight, one is carvone. That's your spearmint flavor. So there is some spearmint flavor and some other minor mint. This seems like it is a semi, it's a semi-synthetic version. So this is a pipritone or carvomenthone. So my guess is that there's some spearmint or peppermint oil in this, then there's synthetic cooling agent, and then probably the most unique thing we're seeing is a molecule we have not seen before in any other pouch called Cool Act P from maybe Vantage Specialty Chemicals. And it has a rapid onset cooling effect. Rapid onset cooling effect, Cool Act P, or Hot Act, provides a cooling sensation similar to menthol, but without the menthol odor. So, uh, yep, it's minty, it's cooling. I guess that's why they call it the Cool Mint. There's your ALP data. I'll run some more of the flavors when I get them.